All right, guys, here we go again. It's uh, game two of this doubleheader, June 2nd, 1962. And surprise, surprise, we have Rick Aguilera on the mound. Um, the reason why Rick's on the mound is because everybody else is tired. This is what happens when you get all those doubleheaders. And uh, remember, we only have 24 men on the roster. His first pitch in there to Felipe Alou is a strike called 0-1. The next pitch is swung on deep to left field, and that baby is gone. Look at that. First pitch of the game, and we have the same problem that we had before with that ball uh, disappearing, and off goes Mookie Wilson after it into the seat. So uh, somebody please explain to me why that's happening. Uh, I tell you, OTP gives you all sorts of problems. one nothing Giants after uh, only two pitches. Here now comes uh, Jim Davenport. So a uh, little bit of a problem there. Davenport takes the strike, 0-1. And there's a ball. One and one the count. Foul the way. It's one and two. Has low and away. Two and two now. Hit deep to right. And going after is Daryl, but he won't get there in time. Two and two. It's a foul ball. Foul the way again. Remains two and two. Blasted to the right center. Is that another one? That's off the wall. Dykstra's got it. Throws in. It's going to be a triple here for Jim. He's got it. He does slide in the end, but didn't need to. Triple for Davenport, and uh, we've had two batters and two extra base hits. That was a slider that was high by Aguilera. Up now is Willie Mays, and he hits a ground ball over to short. Uh, it's uh, Mitchell who fields that and throws the first for the out, but the run scores. 2-0 uh, Giants with one away here at top of the second. Willie McCovey now takes a uh, pitch inside slider, 1-0. And that's a fastball that misses inside 2-0. Oh. There's a fastball outside 3-0. Oh, now the count. And there's a strike 3-1. and one. Popped up. That's going to be Mitchell uh, running after that. So Kevin grabs that for the out. Two away. Up now Orlando Cepeda. Little dribbler. Hearn picks that up. Throws to first for the out with uh, Carter, of course, uh, on the bench. He's a little bit tired, and so uh, that ends it for the uh, top of the first inning. Two runs for the Giants, and they get them quickly. We go now to the bottom of the first inning. Here is Lenny Dykstra. Dykstra um, looking to uh, get things going here. Hits one deep to right, and that is just going to go foul. 0-1 oh, the count on Lenny. He's hitting 353, leading the league in stolen bases. Swing and a miss. It's 0-2. Oh, He's got 30 steals. We're only in June 2nd. Ball inside, one and two. Pitcher for the Giants is Sanford, and there's a swing and a miss by Dykstra. Good sinker, and there's one away. Jack Sanford, 2.70 ERA now, 83 and a third pitched. Um, has a walk 25, struck out 54. Here comes Mookie Wilson. Hits one over to left field. That's going to be a pretty easy play there for McCovey. He reels over and grabs that for the out, two away. Up now is Keith Hernandez. And there's a ball inside. 2 nothing Giants. Uh, Mets uh, trying to get something going here. There's a strike in the knees. 1-1. One one. Ball low. 2-1. Two one. Foul the way. It's 2-2 two two now in Keith. That's low. Full count now in Hernandez. And that's blasted to center field. That's going to be a base head. That lands in front of Willie Mays. So Hernandez with the two-out base head. That brings up Daryl Strawberry, and uh, we'll see if the uh, Mets can do much with this. There's a strike to Strawberry, 0-1-1. Blasted to left. Go, baby, go. Foul ball. Just foul. Looks fair here. In fact, if we go take another look at this one, uh, we'll look at our Super Stats replay, and you can see... Oh, that does land foul there that time. So it is foul if we look at it from the right angle. 0-2 and now, and Daryl, he's set up. And there's a pitch low, one and two. Right Swing and a miss, down he goes. And that does it for the Mets. So the Mets end up with nothing. And uh, we go now to the uh, top of the second inning. Two nothing Giants. Uh, this will bring up Ed Bailey here for the Giants. Up against Aguilera, there's a strike in the outside corner. Rick, of course, was one of the starters in the rotation for the Mets in real life. There's another one hit to left, and that's another home run. It's the second time that we've seen that in this game, and this is starting to get ridiculous. So uh, Mookie Wilson stands out there eating a hot dog. 3 nothing now the score for the Giants, and uh, this is not a great advertisement for um, OTP baseball and for its uh, 3D model. 
<laughs> this looks pretty bad. It's really nothing to score, and Jose Pagan up there takes a strike. Good thing that I was doing this. There's a ball inside, one and one. I was considering doing a full replay with the 3D model on. Now we know what happens. Two and one the count. And there's a ball inside. It's three and one. And that's blasted over to left center field, but Dykstra's there for the catch. He makes it one away. Uh, I do know that this is a homemade ballpark, this city field, but I still have some questions to ask. <laughs> There's a ball inside to Hiller, 1-0 the count. This is a hit over to left field, and uh, Wilson is uh, not going to be able to get there in time. That's a base hit uh, for Hiller. And so he's the uh, runner on at first base now with uh, one out here, uh, bottom or top of the second inning. And uh, we're going to have to go into double play depth. 3-0 uh, for the uh, Giants. And there's a uh, bunt uh, from Sanford. And another bunt. And we probably should have gone into with the infield in. Doesn't really matter. Hernandez fields that. Throws over to uh, the uh, second baseman back when covering it first. So two away now. And that brings up Felipe Alou, who went deep last time up. He takes a strike high. 0-1. There's a splitter in there. 0-2. Good pitch. Foul the way. 0-2 it remains. Just fouled away. It's still 0-2. Blasted. Now, weakly hit over, that is, to center. And uh, Dykstra's got that one for the out. And that does it for the top of the second inning. The uh, Giants pick up one more. Go to the uh, bottom of the second inning. Still, uh, now it's 3-0 uh, San Francisco. And here comes uh, Ray Knight. There's a ball low. Curveball down there tonight. 1-0. There's a ball outside. 2-0 the count. Foul the way, two and one. You know, the Mets wouldn't be in this trouble if I were smart and didn't uh, turn on the um, as played schedule. Three and one the count now on Knight. That's uh, my own mistake. And he'll take that for a strike. Full count now on Ray. Because I use the as played schedule, we have a lot of double headers, and it's hard to do when you don't have many players. Knight, however, hits a little uh, blooper over to left field where there's nobody, and that's a base hit for him. So the second hit of the game here for the Mets. We're in the bottom of the second inning. Here comes Keith Mitchell. Mitchell uh, has won two games for us. 108 is batting average, but he's gotten those hits in the clutch. There's a foul ball. 0-1 on, uh, on uh, Kevin. And there's a strike in there to him. I'm not sure where that one was. 0-2. Swing and a miss. Down he goes. So third strike out of the game for Samford. He'll bring a bet. Hearn, the catcher, a really weak hitter. And he takes a strike at the knees. 0-1. That's hit over to short. They go to second for one and on to first for the double play, and that'll do it. We will go now to the top of the third inning, um, and uh, the uh, Mets are still behind 3-0. Up is Jim Davenport. That's blasted up in the air. Center field. It's going to be uh, Dykstra making this catch for the out. One away. Willie Mays comes up next. There's a strike to Mays. 0-1. Swing and a miss. It's 0-2. And that's on the inside corner, and that's strike three. So Aguilera gets his first strike out of the game. One away. I'm sorry, two away, and that'll bring up William McCovey. Interesting that uh, Mays went down looking. There's a uh, ball to McCovey outside, 1-0. and oh. Foul the way. It's 1-1. Uh, one one. Outside, 2-1. Two and one. That's foul to the right side. 2-2 two and two now the count on uh, McCovey. That's fouled away and back behind the play. Two and two remains. Low, full count now on Willie. Fouled away again, remains full. And he lost him, so that was low and inside. And uh, it said there McCovey has walked 17 batters this season. We're having all sorts of uh, weird problems here with this. Yeah, McCovey has now walked 17 batters this season. You can see that right there. So uh, we have some issues here with this play-by-play. -play. Uh, Aguilera has walked uh, five uh, this season so far. Uh, yeah, there's some issues. I've said this before, and I'll say it again. There are issues with OTP, as, as beloved as this game is. There are some problems with it, and we're seeing them here. Cepeda takes the ball low, 1-0. Then hits this over to left center field. That's going to be a base hit. It's uh, Wilson who grabs that one. That will keep uh, McCovey on at second. And so with two outs, here's Ed Bailey with runners on first and second. And there's a ball low to him, 1-0. and oh. There's a strike to Ed. 1-1 one one the count. Swing and a miss. It's 1-2. and two. That just misses the outside corner, 2-2. Two and two. Swing and a miss. Down he goes. So uh, Aguilera gets the strikeout. And we'll go to the bottom of the third inning now. Um, but uh, the uh, Giants have that lead, 
And uh, it will be Wally Backman to lead this off here for the Mets. Two hits for the Mets is all they have on the scoreboard, and Backman takes a strike, 0-1. Here's a ball low, 1-1 the count. Let's head over to the right side. It's going to be easy for Cepeda. Goes to the bag with it, one away. Here comes uh, Rick Aguilera, the uh, pitcher. 3-0 the score, and he takes a slider outside, 0-1. This is blasted over to center, but it's going to be just allowed out. Mays has that one easily. There's two away. Up now, Lenny Dykstra. So the, the fact that there are no scores reported here, I think, tells me that we're the only double header today, or I, I don't know. It's Again, it's hard to tell. There's so many bugs with this game. One and one the count now on Dykstra. That's low. Two and one the count. Hit over to the right side just. Foul. Two and two now on Lenny. Timed that one well, but uh, it's an even better fielding play there by Cepeda, who went back on that one and grabbed it and uh, went to first for the out. So Cepeda gobbles that one up. We go now to the top of the fourth inning. It's a 3-0 lead for the Giants. Here's Jose Pagan. And he swings and misses at the first pitch from Aguilera, 0-1. Ground ball to third, and it's ninth throwing to first. One away. Here is Chuck Hiller. Hit to the left side. Wilson, though, is going to be there, I think. Foul territory, and he can't make the catch. 0 1 the count on Chuck. And that's low. 1 1 the count. Swing and a miss. It's 1 2. Outside. 2 2 on Rick, or on uh, Chuck. That's outside again. Full count by Rick Aguilera on Chuck Hiller, and that's inside for ball four. Aguilera was ahead of him and then ended up losing it. Here comes. Uh, here comes the pitcher, and we're going to actually pull the infield in now. And there's the bunt. Aguilera fields it and throws to first, and it's a wild throw. So it doesn't work either way. Poor throw by Aguilera. There's runners now on first and second with only one out. We'll go back to double play depth. Felipe Alou in there takes a ball low, 1-0. And then fouls one away, 1-1 one one the count. Fouled away again is 1-2 on Felipe. Blasted to right. That's going to be foul, I believe. Yes, foul ball just barely. One and two remains. Outside, two and two. Grounded foul. Still two and two. Foul ball again. It remains two and two. Up the middle, and it's going to be Mitchell over to Backman, and then on to Hernandez, and they get the double play. So uh, with that, we'll go to the bottom of the fourth inning. Mets uh, trailing in this one 3 nothing. Here comes Mookie. Mookie takes the ball low. He's 0 for 1 today. That was a pitch out and away, and Wilson chased that one, hit it to right field. Easy play out there for Lou. One away. Here's Keith Hernandez. Ball outside to Keith. 1 and 0. And that's fouled away to the right side. 1 and 1 now the count. There's a strike. 1 and 2 the count. Hit to right. Just foul. Does barely foul. One and two remains on Keith. That's hit over to shore. That'll be easy for Pagan. Throws the first, and there's two away. You know, Daryl Strawberry struck out last time. He takes the ball low, one and oh. Strawberry strikes out like it's no one's business. That's a strike to him, one and one. Swing and a miss. Look bad, one and two. He has a hard time with that off speed pitch. And there's a ball low, two and two to Daryl. That's popped up. It's going to be Pagan's ball. That'll do it here for the uh, Mets in the uh, bottom of the fourth inning. Remains 3-0 Giants. We go now to the top of the fifth inning. Um, and uh, we'll uh, have Jim Davenport here, then Willie Mays and Willie McCovey. Ground ball by Davenport to third. Great play by Knight. Throws to first for the out. One away. Here comes Mays. So Aguilera getting tired. He's in that red zone already. There's a ball low to uh, Mays. And this is blasted to the right side, but foul. One and one the count. I'll have to watch Rick. We don't have many guys in the bullpen. And this is through Knight for a base hit over to left field. Wilson throws over to second. Mays has to stop at first. Wilson uh, was able to play that one well, knowing Mays and his uh, propensity for trying to get that extra base. Here now is Willie McCovey, who takes the ball high. One and oh. We want Rick to get through this inning. Foul the way it's one and one. That's hit straight over to center field, and uh, that's in front of Dykstra for the base hit. Mays didn't even think about stopping. He went all the way to third easily. 
Runners on at first and third now, and here's Cepeda. Three nothing Giants, and Aguilera is running out of gas. Cepeda fouls one to the right side, 0 and 1. Takes the ball low, 1 and 1 the count. And there's a fastball in there for a strike, 1 and 2. That's away, ball two just missing. Fouled away, remains 2 and 2. And that's fouled away again. Hit high and deep. Dijkstra makes the catch, throws over to the plate, and uh, Mays just barely beats that one home. 4-0 now Giants, and here comes Ed Bailey with two outs top of the fifth. There's a strike to Bailey. And a ball, 1-1. One one. If we're, Rick can get out of this inning, we're happy. 2-1 the count. And I'm not sure he's going to get out of this inning. Third home run given up by uh, Aguilera today, and that makes it 6 nothing. That was hit deep to right field over the Medell sign, and so three runs in this inning have come in for San Francisco. Ed Bailey, with his fifth home run of the uh, season so far, that'll bring up Jose Pagan. And so it might be that uh, uh, pitch count that hurts us. Pagan hits a ground ball over to Backman. Backman fields it, throws the first in time, but it's far too little, far too late. We go now to the bottom of the fifth inning. It's a 6-0 uh, lead for the Giants, and here comes Ray Knight. Knight hitting well lately. He's hot, and he takes the strike letter high, 0-1. It's outside. 1-1 one one the count now in rain. Oh, ground ball over to short. Pagan, and he boots it. Knight is safe at first. Seventh air of the season for Pagan, and that'll bring up Kevin Mitchell. Mitchell takes the strike. He's 0-1 today. That's a pop-up over to right field. That's going to be an easy play for Alou. One away. Here comes Ed Hearn, the catcher. It'll be Hearn, then Backman. There's a strike to Hearn, 0-1. Ball low, 1-1. Swing and a miss, it's 1-2. That's low, 2-2 two two the count on Hearn. Foul the way, 2-2 two two remains. Low, full count now on Ed. That's a pop-up that's going to get out of play in a hurry. That's low for ball four. Knight will take second. That brings up Wally Backman. Six nothing Giants with the Mets threatening. And there's a ball low to Wally, one and out. Swing and a miss. It's one and one on him. Foul the way, one and two. Now the count. He timed that one well. Fly ball over to left. And McCovey makes a good play on that one and then throws the second and is able to uh, double Knight off the bag. And that retires the side. <laughs> we weren't sending Knight. This is um, another one of those little things I have here to complain about OTP. We'll go here now to the top of the sixth inning. Uh, but the uh, problem with that play is that uh, we weren't sending Knight. It doesn't make any sense for him to be all the way over there by uh, third base. This brings up another problem for us is we've got to take Aguilera out. He's too tired to continue. Um, we wanted to get him up uh, to uh, uh, bat um, in the uh, inning, and uh, we couldn't do so. And so we have to go to the bullpen. We'll go to Doug Sisk, who's tired. And uh, that's kind of what we have to do here. Sisk, and it doesn't. It takes away the pitching spot. There we go. So as I've said before, I don't want you to necessarily not buy OTP because of what's happening in this replay, but I'll tell you, we've seen so many weird problems and so many strange plays, right? There's no reason for Knight to be off the bag like that on a little uh, blooper over to left field. Totally bizarre the way this game's programmed. Swing and a miss. It's 0-2 on Chuck Hiller. There's a ball low. 1-2 the count. And we have to, uh, there's a ball just low. 2-2. Two two. We have to use Sisk when he's tired because we have nobody left. Low and inside, it's a full count now in Hiller. Fouled away, full count remains. Hit over to left, and that's going to be caught by Wilson. One away. Here now Jack Sanford, their pitcher. Takes the ball inside, slider, 1-0. and There's a strike, it's 1-1. One and one. And he held up that time, 2-1 and one the count. That's fouled away, 2-2 two and two it is. The sinker just misses, barely. Tough pitch to take, and there's a swing and a miss. That was in the same place. Two away, here comes Felipe Alou. We might get out of this one without too much damage. There's a strike to Felipe, 0-1. And, and a ball high, 1-1 one one the count. That sinker is low, 2-1. Two there's a strike in the outside corner, 2-2. Two two. 
And that's wrapped up the middle for a base hit is what I was worried about. So Sisk um, getting back to his routine, giving up base hits. That brings up Jim Davenport, and he takes a strike. That's a slider that looked a little high to me. And there's a sinker for a ball, one and one. Head over to right, and that's going to be in front of Strawberry for a base hit. So two hits in a row here for the Giants. And uh, this doesn't bode so well for the Mets. Here comes Mays. Takes a uh, strike knee high, 0 and 1. Blasts this one over to left. Wilson gets over there in time and makes a good throw over the cutoff man now, and it's a bad throw. It's a bad throw. The uh, cutoff man had to go back and get that. That was Kevin Mitchell. So the uh, double for Mays is what it ends up being. Scores a run, puts Davenport on third. 7 and nothing now, Giants, and uh, here comes McCovey, who takes the ball low and in. And there's a ball low and away, 2-0. and oh. You're wondering where our bullpen is. 3-0 and oh. now the count. We don't have anybody we can pitch. 3-1, and one, and it's the double headers that are killing us, and there is a walk. A Sisk has to come out of this game, and uh, the frustration with me, if you can tell, my voice is really mounting. Um, I have a lot of things to complain about, including OTP's um, uh, rest system, the uh, 3D system of this game, there's a lot of problems that we're running into. 7 nothing Giants in a game that we don't have to be losing to uh, this poorly. One thing I'll tell you is that Aguilera came into this game with three days rest, and uh, he had only 75% of his um, uh, ability. Bizarre. 1 and 2 the count now in Cepeda. And this is hit over to center. It's going to fall in front of Dykstra for a base hit, and that'll score 2. So it's now a 9 nothing lead, and uh, we're giving a pits left and right. Three runs for the Giants in this inning. Here comes Ed Bailey. We're going to keep it going. We won't give up too easily on this. Uh, Mitchell feels that uh, ground ball throws to Backman, and uh, we get the force play at second. Um, and uh, we go now to the bottom of the sixth inning. But I tell you, if I were playing this replay myself, in other words, if I weren't doing this on camera, by this point I probably would give up and play a different game because of the frustration with playing OTP. Now, I don't think that anybody working for OTP watches any lowly videos like this, but I'll tell you that if you do, you need to fix your game because this is garbage. Right? There are so many problems with this game, it's crazy. There's a ball outside to Foster, 1-0. and And um, I think it's time for me to start turning it on and letting you know what I think about it. 1-1 one one now the count. There's a ball strike inside, pardon me, to Foster, 1-2. and two. Blasted to uh, center field, but uh, Mays is there for the catch, one away. Here now Lenny Dykstra, Dykstra's 0-2. for two. There's a strike to Lenny, 0-1. And there's a ball low. One and one the count. Line drive, but caught by Pagan. Oh, uh, two away, and here comes uh, Mookie Wilson. Two hits is all for the Mets. We've been stymied by Jack Sanford, who came into this game also tired, so go figure that one out. One and oh the count to Mookie, and he hits this to the right side foul. One and one. There's a ball away. Two and one now to Wilson. There's a strike, curveball. I don't know how you take that pitch. That was inside. That's probably why. Two and two. Hit to right, and it's uh, going to be a base hit. So Wilson finally gets a hit. Lands in front of Hiller with uh, two away. Here's Keith Hernandez. We're down 9 nothing. And uh, there's a strike to Keith, 0-1. And, and a ball low, 1-1 one and one the count. Here goes Wilson, good pitch to uh, uh, steal on. That was a curveball at 69 miles an hour, and he's got that base stolen, 12th of the season. So with two outs, he's in scoring position now for Hernandez. And there's a ball away, two and two the count. And that's inside, full count now on Keith. And that's fouled away, full count remains. I guess that was too close to uh, take. It's a ground ball to first. Cepeda fields that and goes to the bag for the out, and we go now to the top of the seventh. So this is kind of the position we wanted to be in. We will use um, McDowell and Orozco from now on because we kind of have to. We don't have much of a choice because of how tired the bullpen is. Bullpen's tired because we have to use the game's fatigue system, and this is one of the problems you run into. We're in the top of the seventh inning, and uh, it's a 9 nothing uh, lead here for the uh, Giants. There's a foul ball by Pagan, 0-1. And, and a sinker low, 1-1 one one the count. Ground ball to third, good play by Knight, throws over to first in time for the out. One away. Here's Chuck Hiller. Here's a ball low to Chuck, 1-0. and oh. And that misses again, 2-0 oh, the count on Hiller. Here's a ball low, 3-0 oh, the count. 
And McDowell loses him. So four straight balls to Hiller will bring up Jack Sanford. And we'll play a double play depth. I bet that they're going to bunt with him, and they do. Uh, and uh, so McDowell feels that throws over to what uh, it should be. It was actually Hernandez at first. should have been Backman. Two away. That'll bring up Carl Bowles as a pinch hitter. This makes no sense at all. So Sanford uh, ended up uh, bunting despite the fact that he's up by nine. Now they bring Felipe Alou out to put Carl Bowles in this game. And, I, I mean, I don't understand it. He hits a base hit over to right field. Strawberry comes up with it, throws uh, gradually over to the plate, allowing the runner to score. Bowles ends up on his second base. Um, we had nothing we could do about that, and uh, that makes it 10 nothing. This is one of the frustrations that I have with this game, which is you see the player play the ball nonchalantly and then just stand there with it so the runner scores. So many problems with this game. Jim Davenport now takes the ball low, 1-0. And there is a high sinker, 2-0. And, oh. and there's another ball, 3-0. And, oh. and uh, McDowell, oh no, he doesn't walk him. This is fouled away. That was ball four. Three and one now the count. Fouled away. It's a full count now on Jim. Ground ball to short. Mitchell throws the first, and that does it finally. But the Mets give up another one. It's a 10-0 lead, and uh, we're going to go to the bottom of the sixth, uh, seventh inning. I'm sorry. going to be Jim Duffalo up there. So... Does this make sense to you, right? Sanford decides to hit for himself, and then they bring him out after the inning's over. This is another problem with OTP. Makes no sense at all. I'm telling you, the people who test this game and the people who play this game all play it in GM mode. This is what we were talking about the other day. We were talking about the divide in the community. It's clear that the people who test this game do not play out individual games because if they would, they'd see these weird decisions by the computer manager. Makes no sense. 10-0. Mets are out of this one. There's a ball low to Strawberry. 1-0 the count. Blasted over left, and it's going to be out of play. Oh, and 1-1. Uh, one one, I'm sorry. I thought there was a strike against him. This is foul to the right side now. It's 1-2. It's hit over to left, and uh, that's going to be caught there by uh, Bob Neiman. One away. Here comes Ray Knight. There's a ball low, 1-0 to Ray. It's not such a problem of the Mets losing this game. The real problem I have is with all the bugs in this game. 1-1 one one now the count. And um, there's a high strike, 1-2 and two on night. The animations are nice, but the, uh, rea the realism of this engine is really, really poor. Full count now on night. And that's away, ball four. So Knight walks again. That'll bring up Kevin Mitchell. Runner on a first base, one out. And there's a strike called fastball to Mitchell. Oh, and one. And there's a ball low. Buffalo uh, changing completely now. One and two the count. Two and two. So he pitches out of the stretch, and uh, suddenly he's throwing twice as fast. There's a ground ball back to Duffalo, who goes to second over to Pagan. And uh, that means there's two away. Here comes Ed Hearn. There's a strike inside. 13 hits for the Giants, only three for the Mets. One and one now the count. There's a slider low, 2-0, two 2-1, and, oh, two and one, sorry. Ground ball to third, and it's going to be Davenport who throws over to the side of the bag. So he's called out of the bag. Before we go to the next inning, I want to go watch that one again. Keep an eye on where the uh, fielder is positioned. So I guess it was a tag? I mean, I don't understand that. He's throwing to the side of the bag. <laughs> this game... Uh, I, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, man, if you're, I hope that you're watching this trying to decide whether you actually want to purchase it or not, right? Because this is ridiculous. This is awful. There's a pop-up by Willie Mays. Um, it's going to be uh, the second baseman, Backman, catching that for the out. One away. Here comes Willie McCovey. 10 nothing uh, Giants, top of the eighth. There's a strike to McCovey, 0 oh, and 1. It's fun, uh, even if you lose, but it's not fun if the game glitches like crazy. Ground ball to third, Ray Knight throws the first, two away, and here comes Cepeda. And these are glitches, by the way, I know because I've been in the community for a while, there's a strike to Cepeda. These are glitches that have been around for years. There's a ball low, one and one the count to Cepeda. If you're going to have a 3D system, then spend some effort and some time on it, instead of just putting out the same crap every year. Base hit to right by Cepeda, that brings up Bailey. And there's a ball inside to Bailey. Ed Bailey had a home run in this game, he's two for four. Hitting really, really well, and that's going to be a wild pitch. Um, and that's another problem I noticed with OOTP. One of the reasons why I want to do this uh, project, I want to count the wild pitches because it feels like there are more than there should be. 
Two and out of the count. Now there's a runner on second. Two and one is as ripped foul. And there's a sinker low. Three and one. And there's ball four away. So McDowell gives up yet another walk. Roger McDowell, I tell you, 4.85 VRA. He's walked 10, struck out only five. Now, the way that I imported him means I don't have his real-life statistics in front of me, but I know he was better than that. There's a swing and a miss by Jose Pagan. And this has popped up over to the left side in foul territory. It's going to be playable and uh, moving slowly over there for it is Ray Knight. That was like one of those hot air balloons. And so we will go now to the bottom of the eighth inning, and uh, we'll see what happens in this one. It'll be Wally Backman here to lead this off. I wouldn't be so frustrated with this game, but I tell you, these uh, high-scoring games take so long to play. There's a ball to Backman. I know you've been sitting here for a half hour. There's a strike. It's one and one. And that's probably the most frustrating thing at all. You get a whole bunch of glitches, and you get to have glitch central for a half hour of your life. There's an infield hit. Pagan extended himself, couldn't get it. They're going to call that a single for Backman. And that means that McDowell's ball will come up, and finally we're able to take him out and sort of relieve ourselves of the suffering. It's going to be Danny Heap coming in. So runner on at first base is Backman. We're going to probably hit and run down 10 nothing. This is blasted to left, but uh, it's a sprawling play out there by Neiman, who makes a great catch on that one. Uh, going back to first is Backman. One away, here comes Dykstra. Dykstra's been quiet, takes the ball outside, 1-0. Oh. That's low again, 2-0. Low and inside, 3-0 and oh the count. And Duffalo lost him. So runners on at first and second now for the Mets. They'll bring up Mookie Wilson. Hits a fly ball over to left field. And uh, that's going to land, apparently. Backman will score easily. And that's a base hit there for Wilson. It makes it a 10-1 score now for the Giants. That'll bring up uh, Keith Hernandez here. And uh, let's have some fun. There is a strike uh, to Hernandez. It's 0-1. There's another strike, and going for third is Dykstra, and he's got that stolen, 31st stolen base of the season. Wilson gets his 13th, and it works. 0-2 the count, though, on Hernandez. He fouls that one away. It remains 0-2. Blasted foul the other side. Still 0-2. Five hits now for the Mets, so we're starting to wake up. Hit up the middle, but um, that's going to be an easy play for Bagan. He throws home, uh, throws to first and gets Hernandez. Dykstra goes home and Wilson goes to third. It's now 10-2, and here comes Strawberry. Takes a strike outside corner, 0-1, and hits this one over to Pagan's right. That's going to be a base hit, another infield hit that Pagan stopped, and that makes it 10-3. Ray Knight comes up now. Maybe it'll happen. Strawberry now, by the way, hitting 300, and that's blasted to left, but there's Neiman going again, and he's made two diving catches now in this inning. And uh, we will go uh, here to the uh, top of the ninth inning. And um, let's see here. There we go. And uh, we're going to put in Jesse Orozco, who's uh, the last man of the bullpen standing. Everybody else is sitting because they're tired. It's been a frustrating game. We've had to use players we didn't want to use in this one. We had to start a player. We usually want to pitch in long relief, and uh, that's just sort of the way that this replay has been working. Here's a ball inside to Harvey Keene, and the strike, one and one. Inside, low and inside, two and one the count after that fastball, and there's a slider for a strike, two and two. And it's hit over to the left side, foul. Two and two remains. Ground ball to third, and uh, Knight throws to first, one away. Bob Neiman comes up now. Two great catches in the uh, bottom of the eighth. And he gets a base hit, hitting that one straight uh, through the hole between first and second. That's a single for him, and that'll bring up the pitcher, Jim Duffalo. So we'll look at this again. Duffalo um, is up 10-3. to three. He's going to bunt. He does bunt for no reason. Um, the throw goes to second by Orozco, and uh, the runner's safe. I'm not sure what he's doing there. So it ends up being a fielder's choice there for Duffalo, who reaches first, and uh, that brings up Jim Davenport with one out top of the ninth. There's a ball low and inside to Jim, and a fastball low, 2-0. and oh. And that's outside, 3-0. and oh. And that misses high and inside for ball four. We've got no one to come in for you, Jesse. And now up is Willie Mays. So Orozco suddenly can't get anyone out. He's been pitching well, 1.04 ERA. And there's a strike to Mays. That's high, that's dangerous, 0-1. Oh Curve is high, two and one and one, sorry, and that's hit deep to center field. Dykstra has that for the out. He throws home, but there's no chance. Throws way offline. Hearn has to go over and get it, and it's an 11 to three uh, lead. And up comes McCovey. Runners on the corners. 15 hits for the Giants and 11 runs. There's a strike to Willie, 
a pop-up over to right field. Strawberry goes over and grabs that for the out, and uh, we'll go now to the bottom of the ninth inning. Mets down by uh, eight, and uh, up comes Kevin Mitchell. Mitchell, first pitch swing. This is deep to center. Hayes running, 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 but uh, he doesn't have a ladder, and that's going to be an easy double there for Mitchell. So Mitchell gets the big hit. That'll bring up Ed Hearn. And uh, we're not going to let Hearn hit for himself. We're going to let Gary Carter come in and uh, do the uh, pinch hitting. If uh, the Mets um, force extra innings, it's going to be a miracle. We'll worry about that if it happens. Here's a ball low to Carter, 1-0. And, oh. and that fastball misses, 2-0. and oh. and There's a strike. I'm not sure why he's pitching out of the stretch with a runner on at second. We didn't win the count as that missed. And there's another strike, and that was way low. Well, low and outside, full count. Foul the way remains full. Hit over to right field. That'll be in there for a base hit. So Carter gets it going. Mitchell comes around. No, he doesn't. He stays over at third base. He would have scored. Up now is Wally Backman. Runners at the corners, and there's a swing and a miss by Wally. 0 and 1. There's a slider for a strike inside. 1 and 0 oh and 2, and then a ball outside. 1 and 2 now. Hit over to left. That's going to be a base hit that lands in front of uh, McCovey. That's what I was talking about there. So it's 11 to 4 now, Giants. Uh, but uh, it's it's plays like that that just drive me nuts because I think you know you got to run hard for that and make the catch instead of letting it drop in front of you. So many problems with this game. Here comes Howard Johnson. I've said it before. I'll say it again. Next uh, big OTP project we do after this one is done, we're going to do 2D mode. I've had enough 3D mode of this game probably for my whole life. There's a foul block by uh, Johnson and a uh, ball high, one and one. And uh, this is popped up. And who wants it? It's going to be the uh, second baseman, uh, Moda, grabbing that for the out. Manny Moda, two away, and here comes uh, Dykstra. 11 to four, uh, Giants are about to win this one. And there's a ball from Stu Miller who just came into this ball game. So they're doing righty lefty. Not sure I understand why. Because Miller is a right-handed pitcher. 2-0 now to Dykstra. Outside, it's 3-0. And there's ball four low, so that didn't work. Bases are loaded, and here comes Wilson, the switch hitter, who's hitting lefty. And he takes the strike. 0-1, oh, one, two out, one out, I'm sorry. Bottom of the ninth, 11-4. That's going to be a wild pitch. Count the wild pitches as the run scores. It's 11-5 now, Giants. Runners on at second and third, 1-1 one, one count on Mookie. And that's low again, and uh, that one did not get back uh, Bailey, so it's a 2-1 count. And there's a strike, very low, 2-2. Two two. Hit to the left side, but foul. Remains 2-2. Two two. Foul the way to the uh, behind Wilson, 2-2 two two remains. Hit to left, that's going to hang up. McCovey makes the catch, and uh, it's a good throw home. I'm sorry, Neiman makes that catch. A good throw home, and uh, so Backman does not score, and there's two away now. Here's Keith Hernandez. Hernandez hitting 345, one for four today. One of the Mets' nine hits. He takes a ball low, and a strike, 1-1. One one. Oh, two and one the count. Out of the way, it's two and two. Strike Swing and a miss, and down he goes, and that does it. So uh, almost 40 minutes here for your video. 11 to 5, the final score. Absolutely ugly game. Ugly performance by the 3D gra uh, match engine or uh, game engine in OTP. Ugly performance by the OTP computer manager making decisions that make no sense. And this is going to be a long project, isn't it? Uh, the uh, Giants win this one 11 to 5, and I'll see you again tomorrow. We got the Giants in town for one more. Hopefully, we'll have players who are rested by then, and I'll talk with you later. Bye bye.